Yo, what is up guys, Lawson and Bound here, and right now I will be bringing you episode 52 for my NBA 2K14, my GM mode with the Los Angeles Lakers, and I need your attention. We have 4 games remaining in the season, and we are in a 3-way tie for the 8th seed. That tie is between the Rockets, the Nuggets, and us, the Los Angeles Lakers. And take a look at who we are going up against next. The Denver Nuggets, one of the two teams that we are tied with. And guys, in an 82 game season, we're obviously not going to play all 82 games. And that means that right here, right now, I'm going to sim through all four of those games on this live commentary. And I know that I could do a post commentary like most people like to do, where they already know what happens and then edit it and commentate over it. But you know what, in the real life NBA, the GMs don't know the future, they don't know what's going to happen next. So let's make this realistic and let's do this on the spot on the live commentary. Up against the Denver Nuggets, this could determine whether we hold on to the 8th seed, move to the 7th seed, or even go back to the 10th seed. So let's see what happens, simming the game, and we grab the W, that's what I'm talking about, we maintain the 8th seed. Next up against the Kings, another win can mean the 7th seed. Let's make the playoffs, second game, and we lose that one. That pushes us back to the 9th seed of the conference. Next up against the Jazz, our final two games, and we will win it, but we are still in the 9th seed. We are still not in the top 8, and we have one more game remaining against the Phoenix Suns. Let's take a look at the playoff picture as of now, and we are tied with only the Spurs. So if we want to make the playoffs, not only do we need to win this game, but we also need either the Spurs or the Rockets to lose their matchup. Guys, this might be one of the most important, if not the most important moment of the whole series. On the live commentary, at home against the Phoenix Suns. Do we win this game? Do we move on to the playoffs? Let's see what happens next. And we lose the game up against the Phoenix Suns, and that will most likely knock us out of the playoffs. Before that, let's take a look at this real quick. For the All NBA third team, Kobe Bryant, Mike Conley, Josh Smith, the rookie Julius Randle, and Chris Bosh. To be honest, after a season like that, I have no idea why Kobe Bryant isn't at least on the All NBA second team. Next up, the All Defensive first team, and that's what I like to see. Eric Bledsoe representing our own Los Angeles Lakers. Now taking a look at the standings, check this out. The Rockets lost their game, and if we won that last game of the season against the Phoenix Suns, there is a chance we would have made the playoffs. So after the first season, we won an NBA title in Game 7 of the Finals. In the second season, we barely don't make the playoffs. And I honestly can't wait to see what's in store for the third season. We've got the NBA Draft coming up, the free agency for 2015, so many opportunities to make this team once again a title contending team. But before that, let's see who will win the playoffs. Let's simulate through it and let's see who makes it all the way. And it turns out that the Pistons beat the Thunder in the NBA Finals. What are the odds of that? After only two seasons, the Pistons go from a lottery team to an NBA champion. And by the way guys, Steve Nash just retired in the game, and this confirms that the trade we made all the way back in episode 2 of this series really turned out to be a great one. But the next episode of this series will be part 1 of the offseason. And everybody knows, the offseason is the most exciting time of my GM mode, so I can't wait to see what's in store for episode 54. And also guys, I need you to leave a comment down below in the comment section saying which player you think we should go for in this upcoming 2015 free agency. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to join LNU Nation for your number one source of all NBA 2K14, my GM mode, my team, and sons more to come. Follow me on Twitter at Lost and Unbound. My Twitch channel will be in the description. It's the same as my YouTube name, Lost and Unbound. And I live stream over there several times per week at 8 p.m. Eastern. So definitely make sure you follow me over there, and that way you will get an email every single time I stream. And as always, guys, I'm Lost and Unbound. Have a great day, stay safe, and God bless. Now, that does bother me a little bit. I always love to see when players like Russell Westbrook are diving for the ball. He's all over the court, high energy player, always hustling. So the fact that he doesn't do that, it's a little bit annoying. But his strengths do outweigh his weaknesses in terms of talent. Next up, we've got Lionel Tucker. 
233, that's a solid size for a 19 year old. He only has one strength saying that he should have good success at the NBA level as he matures, his weaknesses, three of them.